are you? Marco Ruiz. Chihuahua State Police. Who are you? Sonia Cross. El Paso homicide. The Bridge is a crime drama that centers around a crime on the Mexican-American border, and I play an El Paso police officer. We find a body right on the border, and we are trying to find whoever committed this crime, and we find out that there's so many aspects to the story that are yet to be discovered. When was the last time you talked to your wife? I called her around 10.30, but... She was dead by then. Excuse me? W which is... It's very sad for you. It has been very challenging for me to create Sonia Cross because she has Asperger's, and so that is a condition that is so complex. And so I try to learn as much as I can about people who have this sort of condition and try to make her as human as I can. Email would have been quicker. But not as pleasant. I brought some breakfast. Marco Ruiz working for the Chihuahua Police Department. He's one of those cops that thinks that he can make a difference. He believes that. And even though the work itself is risky, he's willing to do the best for his country. Cristina Fuentes is only one of 250 girls who disappeared last year. So you have a serial killer? No one knows. Marco Ruiz is a real human being. He's one of those few good guys that can actually represent the difference. I'm not saying that he's perfect. He's a human being, and he will have his own choices to make. You compromised the scene. Her husband was very sick. He needed a hospital. The show goes back and forth between Mexico and the US, and so I think that's really unique. That's the first time I've seen that on television. It has a political undertone, but it is also really fascinating crime drama. They all corrupt. Mexican police, you all take bribes? Not all of us. There's corruption on, uh, on both sides of the border. That's, for me, the interesting thing about the bridge, that it deals with facts that we can actually experience. Perdone que lo moleste, Capitán. ¿Qué no se pasó? Ya tu hora de dormir. Ocupo su permiso para trabajar el caso. Estás dedicado. The bridge itself, the bridge being between Juarez and El Paso, is a big character in the show, really. I think it's very important to the creators to make sure that the Mexican side to the story is as accurately portrayed as can be. This is a U.S. case. I don't need your body. Just this morning, I got nine heads in the parking lot of City Hall. I tell me that. We got our own dead. I thought you were across the border. Just got back. I guess some Mexican shot another Mexican. Weird. Daniel Fry is a fawn from Grace Reporter. He used to write in Washington, now he writes in El Paso. He has a small drug and alcohol problem, and he's affected by what's happening in Juarez and what's happened on the bridge. It kind of becomes the voice of the killer in the show. And so he has the opportunity to get first-hand access to like one of the most explosive stories he's ever encountered. Were you on the bridge of the Americas last night? What? What? Are you on the bridge, yes or no? Uh, no, I was here all night. For me, he's a guy that gets to do a little of everything. He's a hero, he's trying to do the right thing, and is really tortured and has a lot of demons. This is my case. You sure about that? Because a case like this can change you. I can handle it. Hank is a cop. He's been there a long time, and he's an old-fashioned conservative. I think he's just kind of burnt out. The world has kind of changed around him. He's seen enough bodies, and Sonia came to Hank in the midst of a crime. He's become sort of a patriarchal figure to her. DEA, ICE, FBI, come morning, they'll all be sticking their beaks in. It's mine, Hank. Yeah, right now it is. We have fantastic actors on the show, and all of them sort of help me not just create my character, but also they bring so much to the table. I find that the collaboration with them has been fantastic. We actors are always in search of these type of uh, characters that can uh, give us a chance to uh, stretch whatever range you have. It all comes to the names involved. They put together this fantastic team, and when they hire us, they trust you. So I remember my experience throughout this shooting as a really creative process, and I'm very proud of what we did. The creators of the show were letting us be creative and letting us do what I think we do best, and they have been so supportive. The bridge has the potential to be so different and unique. I am excited and very thankful. I think we achieved something really special. We've got some interesting times ahead. This is only the beginning.